Hi, Hi. Sarah. How are y'all? <laughs> oh, we're doing we're pretty good. good. Okay, we um, were so entertained by your last interview, by the way. So <laughs> we were. This is like to explain to everybody the the we're in the this broadcast area, and you're you kind of bop for uh, to to the next person, and we were cracking up because. We're not sure what the question was, but the answer. Yeah, we couldn't hear. We couldn't hear them, but we can only hear you. Oh, uh, what, what, like, what did I say? <laughs> well, the, it was funny because um, we've ne- we, well, it's nice to meet you. First off, we haven't you gotten too. to talk to you before, uh, and so we didn't know what to expect. And uh, we luckily though got to hear your side of the last interview just now, and um, we were just laughing because you were very. You were like, "Oh, maybe I should open up." When the first line was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this first song you ever sang uh, about uh, two people having sex when you were five years old. So. Yeah, what, what song was that again? What song it did was, you sing when you were five? <laughs> it was When We Get Behind Closed Doors. Do you remember that song by Charlie Rich? Yes. And, you know, my mom, like she, it was my mom's choice. All the songs that I learned and sang as a child. And that was one of them. And one of them was House of the Rising Sun, which is about a whorehouse. And <laughs> so I was just saying that I, I didn't know what I was singing about no. it you know, but I do know now why I'm so strange. <laughs> well, if you think about it now, kids are singing WAP and they have no idea. Exactly. Uh, what that, you Adults know, like, are singing WAP, WAP and they have no idea. Well, that, <laughs> yeah, that is true. true. We want to switch things up a little bit. Let's go a little bit more wholesome because you've got, you're part of the Hallmark movie. Okay. I'm obsessed with Hallmark. I'm so excited to see you in this. Can you tell us a little bit um, about what we can expect with um, it's a Nashville Christmas Carol? Yes. Um, That's, you know, something that I've heard so much since I made this movie is how many people are obsessed with Hallmark movies. And so that's my, that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to (laughs) start watching Hallmark movies um, because I'm out of television shows because all I've done in COVID is watch TV. I've literally accomplished nothing. And <laughs> so um, I'm in the Hallmark Christmas movie called National Christmas Carol. And it's a take on, you know, the, the traditional story the, of Christmas Carol. So I play um, a country music star named Belinda. And I have a very small role in the movie, but it's without a doubt the most important role. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> have you, have you I do not before? doubt that as well. No, I've yeah. never acted. Be- well, I I was on an episode of Nashville, and I was so bad. So we had a big viewing party. All of our friends and a lot of my family came over to watch my episode of Nashville. And there was one moment where I had to do this look, like you know, look like you like what you're hearing from this guy who's singing and the look that I did was so bad that no one even tried to be nice. Everybody just died laughing, (laughs) made fun of me. So from that point on, I was like, I'm not an actor. I can't do it. I just suck. But then, you know, since all of my shows have been canceled this year, I really needed the money. So they offered (laughs) me this Hallmark role and, um, and I was going to get paid for it. So I was like, fine, I'll do it. And it turns out that that I'm actually a better actor than I thought. I just needed some direction, some good advice. You, you, you needed a good director. Yes. And the director told me, just be yourself. Like, don't try yes. to act. And what's so sad is in Nashville, I was actually playing Sarah Evans and I still couldn't do it. <laughs> but in the Hallmark movie, I play another country music star and and it turned out great. Well, based, they do say it is hard to play we're, yourself. We're excited. Yeah, yeah, it comes I'm out so November 21st. Okay. Um, I won't be why I'm definitely not inviting those same people that laughed at me <laughs> to watch it with me, but um, I think it'll be good. And and I'm not the only country person. It's Kix Brooks and Winona Judd yeah. and Ray and Lynn. Ray Lynn. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited you- about it. Well, I think I feel comfortable enough to tell you this that Rob, you're his first country music crush. You were so not, I don't know if I'm gonna embarrass. I'm you sorry. I just have to. T- I feel like she I'd, would receive it well. You I know what? I could <laughs> sense it though. I could sense. I felt this connection. Oh, yeah. I, pre- I appreciate that. <laughs> you two would get along. Yeah. I mean, I know you're married. He's married. Or whatever. But well, yeah. you look like the guy in Bloodline. You know the the brother in Bloodline who is like really screwed up and he's on drugs. <laughs> That's oh, who perfect. you look like. You know uh, who I'm I, talking about? A, I do not, but I appreciate that compliment. <laughs> well, he's cute, even though he's... Even though he's on, a drug addict? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I, I appreciate that. Um, um, you said you didn't accomplish anything, but I saw... Uh, what, what? Tell us about the closet chaos. It's like an Instagram show that you're doing with your daughter. 
Yes, we do it every Monday night and just started out as nonsense. Like I, I was kind of making fun of everybody who was going live and talking about COVID and, you know, and I just was like, oh my God, people are so annoying. So I just said to my <laughs> girls, we should do a, an Instagram live, but say that we're, we're, we're only doing it to get attention, not to be helpful. And <laughs> so it started that way. And it's just gotten really popular. It's hilarious. And uh, we have a famous guest on every week and it's every Monday night and it's just pure joy. That's all it is. It's just laughter. Oh all my right, God. We'll, Can I just we'll tell you out for it? We're going to watch it religiously now because we were already in love with you, but we're even more in love with you after this conversation. So thank you so much. Oh, thank can't you. Wait to see you tomorrow at the CMAs. Thank you all both very much. This was fun. Right. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> You're Sarah. fun. Have a great day. Bye. Right, bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?